In this video, I'm going to go over how to apply glitter with the epoxy method. And I use a PVC pipe and it is in a football and that is what I use to hold on to my cups. I do not glue my football on. It is on there fairly tight so I don't have to worry about it falling off. But I put that in my cup as you'll see here and that is allows me to hold my actual cup without touching it. Uh, while I apply the epoxy and glitter. All the walls you built up are just glass on the outside. So let them fall down. I have already pre-mixed epoxy and I'm going to apply it with this brush that you'll see here. It's one that I got at Target. And I either use this brush or I also just use a gloved finger like I would use to apply my epoxy as a sealant, as an adhesive. So either way, uh, whatever works for you is what is best. I actually do it both ways. I find it easier to use a glove because the brush can sometimes get hard to clean up. Um, you can put it in acetone in a jar and it'll keep it pliable and will not allow the epoxy to set. So that's one way to do it. But I just, I ended up throwing this brush away so I just find it easier to use my gloved finger to apply it. And I do apologize for my hand being in the way a little bit here while you're watching this video, but um, basically you're just going to apply a very very thin coat just enough to cover your stainless steel tumbler or whatever you're using to apply it and you're just wanting a very very thin coat you're not going to want it to run or drip or anything like that so you just want to apply enough that it's going to cover the actual stainless and sometimes it will separate because epoxy is self-leveling so there will be occasions where you will see little fish eyes develop and you'll just want to keep going back over it to make sure that all of that is completely covered by the time that you go to apply your glitter uh, that way you don't have any spots that you actually will miss because the epoxy has separated in those spots so just keep going back over it once you go all the way around i usually do a double check at least twice just to make sure that i've gotten everything and that the epoxy is covering all of the parts as well as you want to make sure that your epoxy goes all the way to your tape on both ends and that there's not any parts that really really get thin or are missing around your tape as well because you want it to be full coverage when you apply your glitter onto the epoxy. And one thing I will mention is that usually when I tell you to mix your epoxy, I say to mix it extremely slow so that you don't incorporate any bubbles into your epoxy. When you mix your epoxy for an adhesive, it's not as important because once you put it on, you're just going to be applying your glitter on top of it. So if there are any bubbles in there, it's not as much of an issue. You're not going to um, be able to see those once your glitter is on top of it anyway. So you can mix a little bit faster when you're mixing your epoxy for adhesive than when you're mixing it for a sealant.
The glitter that I'm using for this cup is a Chunky Galaxy, and I bought it from Erin Jensen at Paint of Valley Designs. Also, it's called Buy In All the Glitter on Facebook. So if you would like to get the same glitter, that's where you would go to get it. It's a Facebook group, and she does buy-ins, and it's she has very beautiful glitter, and I love this color. It was very pretty. And as you can see here, I'm just sprinkling it on top of the epoxy and you want to make sure you're getting all of the parts it is a chunky glitter and so it it has a little bit of fine I believe mixed into it so I was just making sure that I was getting all of those areas and that's what you want to do if you want coverage I'm not gonna go back over this I only did one coat of epoxy and glitter on this cup and there was a little bit of stainless steel showing through. If you would like to get a more full coverage look where you don't see stainless, you can paint underneath before you apply your epoxy. And a good color for this probably would have been to do black or even a purple, a dark purple base coat of paint underneath there. But I, I didn't mind, I liked the look and it kind of looked shiny when I completed it. So I was completely fine with having that look. I don't paint a lot of mine, but um, I do note that it uses less glitter for your one. If you want to have less glitter and just do a base coat and then do one coat of glitter, that does work as well. Um, there have been a couple times with using the epoxy method where I have had to do a second coat either by doing Mod Podge and applying a second coat of glitter or using epoxy and applying a second coat that way as well and um, that was just because it, I didn't get the full coverage that I had wanted um, with my wine glass that was pink I did have to do a Mod Podge and glitter another a second layer like that so um, just a bunch of things to keep in mind and to know what outcome you want and what kind of coverage you want and what kind of look you want because some of the glitters are transparent or iridescent and when you use those you're going to get a different look based on the base coat that you use or if you don't use one versus if you do use one so those are all things to keep in mind when you're trying to figure out what kind of color you want and what you look you're actually going for Since this is a chunky glitter, I do pat down. It would probably be better if I put a glove on, but I did not think about that when I was doing this. So after I apply my chunky glitter, I go around my entire cup, um, up and down, and then I completely go around the entire cup just to make sure that there's less things that are poking up because as soon as your epoxy dries and cures with whatever shape that's in, it's gonna just hold it there. So if you want it to lay down, your best bet is to tackle that right now before it cures. So I went around my entire cup and I pressed all of those little pieces that were sticking up flat just to make sure that when I go to epoxy my cup, I'm not going to have as much of an issue to actually epoxy it as I would if I didn't do this right here. Just this little extra step saves you a lot of time in the long run.
tape your glitter, you can pull your tape off. And I grab my little tab. I, when I tape mine, I make a little tab so that I can pull it and I pull it down and away. So that way I'm not going into the epoxy glitter, but I'm actually pulling it down in a way to get that nice line for my cups. And I do that on both ends. So the top and the bottom. and after i pull the tape there are usually a couple little spots where the epoxy manages to work its way underneath the tape even though i try to press really hard on my tape um, once i apply my tape and try to make sure it's as minimal as possible there is still usually a couple little spots where the epoxy gets into the underneath the tape when it joins so in those two spots where it joins I just use a makeup application wedge the little like small wedges that you can buy and I've bought them in bulk off of Amazon you can also buy them at Target and Walmart and they're fairly cheap and I just put some acetone on it and just wipe up those little edges to make sure that they're completely clean that way when you go to tape an epoxy you're not going to have any issues because everything's already cleaned up for you I let that cup cure for 12 hours and then I added another coat of epoxy. I applied my decal and then I sealed it with another coat of epoxy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Drop me a comment if you have any questions.